Okay, on to the next step. Okay, um, what I'm doing now is I'm going to apply Velcro onto these half circle mounts for the Ransor tube. Okay, my plan is just put double face tape here and then just pop it in. I don't have any idea how it's going to hold, but uh, we'll see right now if it works. Let's see. Doesn't really stick that well. I want it to really stick because I don't want this pipe to come loose. It's not working. It's not sticking well. This is a failure. So this isn't going to work. Let's just see um, how this sticks to here. Actually, this sticks pretty good. It sticks pretty good. I get enough. It, maybe I shouldn't use Velcro after all. I think it'll work. I think it will work. I think it'll work. Don't need the Velcro. Okay. Check it out. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit more of this heat felt. That's good. I'm gonna this is going to be the first time I'm going to put my tray in the, the, uh, the RAN solar tube with the heat felt on. So let's see, let me see if I can tell a difference. Oh my God, look at that. It's so smooth right here how it goes in. It's like, it's, it's like, it just feels so neat. Oh, it's really important to have it here on the edges, right here, as, as, you, as you can see, um, and pro probably right here is like super important, because this is probably where you scratch the glass, this corner right here, which I got. Hey, you definitely want it here, and you want it here, and on the bottom. Oh, so let's see that right there? See that? I could scratch the glass right there, so I could have nipped that off. And I could have put. Uh, I just nipped that off; it should be okay. But um, really, shouldn't be any metal edges that could scratch the glass, because if you scratch the glass, it's gonna lessen the performance of the tube. Well, that's not in the way, though. I still I'll nip this off. Okay, I'm I'm very happy with all the modifications that I've done so far. And um, I'm still have a few more um, ideas, but I just, I'm just loving this, how this is turning out. Um, I can't believe how well this is going. And um, I couldn't be more pleased. <laughs> so, um, I still have uh, actually several more things I'm going to be doing to this thing. Well, not, maybe not several, maybe two more major things I'm going to be doing this thing. But you're going to have to watch my up and coming videos for that. It's, it's going to be positioned like like that because um, the sun the sun comes up um, from the east and goes to the west. So I want the tray side on this side. So it's going to go like this. that all right okay let's see moment of truth okay here it goes center it there 
there. Done. Look at that. Let's do a test. Doesn't. It's holding. It's definitely holding. That's good. I could pick the whole thing up. Look at that. It's fine. Okay, this is the unboxing of the solar tracker that I just bought off Amazon. Get out. Oh wow. Okay, it's metal. Sunshine Innovations Solar Tracker Oven. This is good quality. I'm impressed. This is perfect. Wow, check that out. It's a little motor just on one of the wheels. Very clever. Oh, I see, there's a plug right here. There's a plug. You got this little motor on the wheel, and this thing turns it. So, not really sure what direction to set it. That is so cool. Okay. As you can see, there's definitely some shoddy workmanship going on in this thing. Look at this. That should have been like sanded before they painted it. Over here, it's, it's kind of rough. All right, all I really care about is that if it works. Of course, I made this just now to be able to put my solar oven on it. All right, there. God, this isn't long enough. This thing's not long enough. What the hey? Oh, wait a minute. Like, like this. I'm gonna plug it in. This is better. There. Remove this. Okay, it should be on. Um, okay, I gotta point it at the sun. Gonna get the shadow square. Let's see if that shadow stays square. I haven't even read the directions yet, so might be doing this wrong. But um uh, there's the shadow. Uh, what's this here? Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see what happens. This thing isn't even on level ground, so I don't even know if this is even going to work. Alright. Come with any instructions, so I guess that's all you have to do is just point it at the sun and just plug it in. So, um, we will see what happens. Oh, I don't, I don't have this reflector taped on. Oh shoot, it bent. No. What happened? Shoot. Damn it. There, look at that. The light does get under there. Check that out. So it, it matters if you have a reflector underneath. Look at all that light getting in there. Cool. Check it out. I should clean the tube a little bit. You you has to be like on a in a like a C shape in order for it to um, work correctly. Okay, the temperature right now. Right now. Oh my God! It's almost had a 150 already. Check that out. I just started setting it up. I can't believe this. All right. Okay, make sure it's plugged in. Alright, see what happens. Will it work? 
we will soon find out okay i've been away for about 25 minutes let's see if the solar tracker is working and it is so i think it is that's look at that uh shadow I think it gets a little bit ahead of itself and the sun catches up to it oh it's definitely it's definitely a moved I should have I should have put a chalk line on the shadows let's see the temperature of this sucker oh my god look at that almost 400 degrees check that out 400 degrees amazing oh look look at the wheel check it out it's working look so it has moved this isn't even on flat ground either so this is definitely working check that out